Hello and welcome back to Gardens Oval. Second half of footy about to get underway. Palmerston taking on St Mary's and at half time the score is Palmerston 6-3-39. Trailing significantly St Mary's 11-7-73. Dave Kennedy's my name joined by Dale Fletcher. And have a look at this. There he is, the face or the faceless man of the Palmy Army. And that is one hell of a look. Must be a dentist. We can't show his face on television. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> Dale, can the Magpies get back into this game? I think they can. I think uh, if they uh, played uh, anything like they did in that second half of the second quarter and get uh, a run on, and they, they need clearly they need a run on of three or four goals. Uh, if they can get them uh, straight away at, at the start of this quarter, um, they're more than a chance. But uh, it's only a five-goal margin, uh, small ground, 17 goals kicked in the first half, so uh, you expect uh, that number or even more here in this second half. So uh, Palmerston are uh, definitely in with, in, in with the show, but uh, it all comes down to this premiership quarter, doesn't it? It certainly does, Dale. 34 points the difference on AFL NTV as we are back underway. Have a look at that. Smith to Geary to Wilson. Out of the centre of the ground, up towards Vallejo. No mark taken, it's spooned inside 50. The umpire's found a free kick though, and it's going to Magpie's way. Might have been for a throw, was it, Dale? I think there, the good old crow throw. So the free kick to be taken by Alex Johnson, up towards the wing. Cloak finds himself well up the ground. Big punch towards the boundary line, and it spills out of play right on centre wing on the far side here picturesque Gardens Oval as we see Gardens Road in the background there with the beautiful Darwin Botanical Gardens further in the background as Cloak taps it down to Aaron Davy to Alwyn Davy further up the ground to Holt Tubbs he's well tackled brought to a standstill and uh, ball up still on centre wing maybe slightly forward of centre wing for St Mary's. Margin, if you've just joined us on AFL NTV, it's St Mary's by 34 points after kicking eight goals to one in the first term. Palmerston responded with six goals to three in the second term to have the margin at 34 points early on in the second term. As a clock here at Gardens Oval hasn't started, so we'll say that we're about two minutes and 20 seconds in. Two, two minutes, ten seconds in as Cloak fists that one down. Wilson almost wrapped up there. Ball in dispute, far side here. Aaron Davey. Geary ended up getting it. Shannon Rioli's well tackled. Unlucky not to be uh, given a free kick there, the Magpies. Saints might make them pay. Ashraf Davies inside 50. Milne dropped a mark. He would have taken 99 times out of 100, then was wrapped up. Crowd wants ball again. Umpire doesn't agree. Alex Johnson kicks further up and goes out of bounds on the full. Magpies a bit stiff there again. <laughs> they've, they've been, uh, if you ask any uh, member of the Palmy Army, they've been uh, stiff all game so far, but uh, it's just a very much a, a calm before a storm type uh, atmosphere here. It's uh, very quiet. Malaysia with a high, high ball inside 50. Out the back, Smith weighted down, but uh, Church was onto the loose footy. Kicks up towards centre half back. Everyone overran it except Forrest, who then just went around the corner to the top of the goal square. No mark taken. It spills out the back. Magpie's not out of trouble. Charlton White trying to get it to over the top there towards Martin. In the end, McFarlane finds the footy. He just threw it on the left boot, waiting for the bounce, but it's touched off the boot. A minus score is the result. So... First score of the third term goes to St. Mary's, 11-8-74. Margin 35 points, they lead Palmerston 6-3-39. About four minutes into this second, so third term, second half. Free kick to the Magpies, to Jetta. Half back. Loose man over here, grandstand wing, if they can get to him. And it's Lonigan, and they do, and he takes the mark. He's definitely earned to... Uh, his wheat, uh, Wheaties uh, today, Lonigan there with that dirty jumper. Certainly has. Emery got it to a running Aaron Davey. Precision kick in the cloak direction. Ances did very well to get a fist to it. Then Geary kicks it out of defensive 50. Only as far as Jetta though, who went wider still. Brody Bennett took the mark. About 75 out from goal, close to the boundary line. He 
wants to put it inside 50 quickly. Goes up towards Josh Bennett. And can't take the mark. It spills out of play. Boundary throw in still. Inside 50 for the Magpies as Alwyn Davey comes onto the ground at the expense of his brother, Aaron. Clearly the change after quarter time has been the Magpies half back line. They've really uh, got on top. Especially Lonigan too. He's played a super game along with Martin. And that's why uh, the Magpies uh, still have a massive chance in this game. Another stoppage from the ball up. So... Uh, from the boundary throwing a ball up is the result 11 8 74 st mary's palmerston 6 3 39 five minutes gone in uh, the third term or about about five minutes gone in the third term mclean got it away from the clearance up towards the wing no mark taken charlton white geary onto the footy he kicks up towards center half forward milne Tracks the footy back and then got wrapped up. Crowd yells ball once again. He was dispossessed. Alwyn Davey won the free or won the loose footy. Kicked up towards Hunter at centre half forward. Couldn't take the mark. Shannon Rioli handball to Wilson who was in trouble. Durke just waiting on the outside of this pack if they can get to him. Jeddah through the congestion. He just managed to get boot to ball and Bonadio gather the loose footy. Handballed out of trouble, up towards Mark McLean, couldn't gather. Now Geary, now Larson, well tackled by Baden. Turnover, the Magpies have numbers, Lonigan's one of them. He streams away with the footy, kicks inside 50 towards Durke. Free kick, play on advantage. Jetta onto the loose footy, kicks the goal. And the umpires well, will all, confirm. All confusion's broken loose here. There's, I think there could be a... A free. I've saw gestures for a 50 metre penalty. I've seen the play on advantage signalled. So probably at the end of all this there'll be a ball up. So there's clearly no goal. Well, and it's just a, a free to Alwyn Davey. I commentary is difficult when we have no idea what's going on, so... Yes. In the end, it's going to be another <laughs> shot on goal after Jetta had his. There was no advantage given. Alwyn Davey, he's a capable man, though. Runs inside 50, and he kicks a goal. So the Magpies get their just desserts in the end, and they kick the opening goal of the second half. Yeah, great goal there, Alwyn Davey. A lot of pressure there on that kick, especially after the beautiful running goal there by uh, Leroy Jetta that wasn't uh, paid through, through advantage. Uh, and, and you can definitely tell that uh, Palmerston are within 20-odd uh, points here because uh, the Army are getting loud. They are. 7-3-45. Margin is 29 points, Dale? Yep, 29, 29 points. 11-8-74. Uh, 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 A plus for you. I'm getting there. I've almost mastered grade 3 Mathematics as uh, we restart in the middle of the ground. Free kick, St Mary's, Shannon Rioli. Well, that's the reason why I uh, write and, and read letters, Dave, because uh, numbers and me don't uh, add up. Pardon the pun. McFarlane almost second grab. Harmison in trouble. Geary onto the loose footy. Kicks at goal. Misses to the left-hand side. Minus score, 11-9, 75. I've just seen close to us Sam Godden sporting a terrible, terrible hat. Might have to get a shot of young Sam Godden soon. That is one of the worst hats I've ever seen on a dome in my entire life. Aaron Davey, meantime, to his brother, Alwyn. Can't take the mark. Little clever tap from Bradley Mungatopi. Alwyn Davey almost. Anthony Long. Towards Jack Williams. Davey tried to bump him out of the way. Not to any avail. Saints move it forward. There's a free kick, though. Which way is it going? St. Mary's. No advantage given. Once again, I think uh, the team who won the free actually had the advantage there, so uh, Palmerston would be uh, quite happy that the uh, umpire brought that one back. Jack Williams inside 50. Wanted McFarlane. Comes off hands. And a high contact free kick to Justin Wilson. Yeah, I think he's won a free kick, an Oscar, a Logie, and maybe an Academy Award with that one as well. <laughs> Classic. Justin Ferret Wilson will go back and have a shot from about 35 metres out. Who has he kicked, Dave? Kicked a few. Well, he got two. He got them both in the first uh, 10 minutes of the match. And he fell over as he kicked it, but he still kicked the goal. 
Justin Wilson kicks goal number three at St. Mary's back out to a 35 point margin. Well, it's not how. Point margin now. Yeah, well, it's not how, it's how many. And uh, Justin Wilson, he wouldn't care that he uh, slipped on his backside <laughs> because uh, he was uh, sitting on the Gardens Oval turf as the ball was uh, sailing through the big white sticks. So. Once again, the Saints get that steadier and uh, quieten down the army momentarily. But uh, it's just that first opening 10-minute uh, burst by St. Mary's where they keep the first five goals of the game, and th this is the margin, isn't it? It is, and even six goals at the moment. 7-3-45, the Magpies, they trail St. Mary's 12-9-81. As Justin Wilson put his third through for the afternoon. Aaron Davey, meantime, little one over the top. He wants Durkay to run onto it. Part one's complete. What can Durkay do with the footy? He kicks up towards the hot spot. Great mark, Jack Williams. He's really proving his class as a defender in weeks uh, gone by. Of course, the mockers went straight onto him there. Brad Bradley Munger, Toby, Alwyn Davey now. And there's a free kick. Magpie's way. No, no. sorry, up St. Mary's way, and it goes to Jack Williams. You can definitely tell which way the free's going, you just hear by the volume of the grandstand. <laughs> Stapleton across half back. Short defensive pass back inside defensive 50 to Ben Rioli. Runs his full measure, then kicks up to the wing. Ryan Smith waited out the back. The ball clean bowled everyone. He handballed towards Larson, who got legged. And a free kick to St. Mary's. He goes short to Geary or towards Forrest in the middle of the ground. That's the direction he goes in the end. Has a little bit of running room. In fact, Aaron Davey comes across to make sure that he can't run into that space. 1-2 with Geary. Back to Forrest. Kick up. Milne flies from behind. Can't take the mark. Ashraf Davies, the boy from Yarra Glen. Back to Milne. He tried to palm one off. Umpire said, play on. Wilson onto the loose foot. He sprays it out of bounds on the pool. It was interesting to see there Milne trying to palm a palm, palmy player off. Too many palms in that... Uh, passage of play there but uh, Barrett the head uh, to the uh, chorus of the cheers black and white army here just uh, kicked it into the cemetery dead ball cricket umpire would say as Emery kicks up towards half back Charlton White Mark McLean now Charlton White again was that in the back umpire says yes <laughs> Crowd very vocal today. You've got to love the Palmy Army. He hands off to Aaron Davey. Goes to Jetta. Just backwards of centre wing. This kid's had 40 kicks, I reckon. Unbelievable. Jetta, Jetta towards Cloak. Couldn't take the mark. Almost gathering at ground level. Toby Cameron. It doesn't matter though because Brody Bennett goes onto the loose footy up towards Josh Bennett. Runs out of room. Boundary throwing though. It's in a good spot for the Magpies. We trail this one by six goals in. Uh, the third term. This is what our clock day will do. We do. But uh, Bennett there pretty much burnt Alan Davey. If he had lower lower the eyes and uh, kicked a 20 metre pass, Palmerson would have had a shot on goal right now, but not to be. So about, uh, about 13 minutes gone. Empire finding a free kick from the congestion. It's going to go to Justin Wilson. So often we find at the bottom of these packs. And we find this to be the case once again. Justin, Justin Wilson, I should say. Go short to Jack Long. He's not in any hurry on the last line of defence. To Ben Rioli. 12-9-81 St. Mary's. They lead the Magpie 7-3-45. No mark taken there. By Johnson. Pettigrew. Handball over the top. Hunter just ran the line perfectly. He had more time than he thought. He got it to Church, who was dispossessed. Hunter might get a second chance. Gathered, left foot kicked to the hot spot. Cloak flew over the top, put a big punch there. Bonadio, he's brought to ground. Oh, the Magpies are desperate for a free kick. Not forthcoming once again. Saints out of trouble through Rioli, and he finds Shaq McKenzie at half back. He definitely cannot question the endeavour here. The Magpies are just can't get the... Uh, School board pressure on uh, St. Mary's here. Uh, we were just cruising here a little bit. Oh, Baden, good smother. It was a sort of the blind smother in, in the end. He just put the left hand up, and now he goes in hard and almost wins himself a free kick. But uh, in the end, he forces a stoppage all the same. So good work, Tyron Baden. 
and it's a uh, very, very lucky that that umpire didn't play holding the ball because that could have could have been a very loud uh, reaction. <laughs> Bonadio was well, the old barrel cloak. He just tried to kick the munged torp up. Baden again went right, then went on the left. Kick partially smothered. Ben Rioli well tackled. Alwyn Davy now got the handball out towards the boundary line. Holt Dubs is there. Alwyn Davy again. Umpire saying uh, no high contact, duck the head. And now yeah. holding the ball. And now Jack Long. So Long with the big switch to Geary. He's got close attention there from Toby Cameron. And also Josh Bennett. Is that holding the ball? Wait for it. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh. So Josh Bennett, he's probably too far out to score, you'd feel. Goes short, it's a good kick. Cameron Cloak takes the mark about 30 metres out, 45 degree angle. He'll have to uh, negotiate here, Dale. Yes, no, but uh, someone of uh, Cameron Cloak's ilk should uh, kick this goal and really uh, keep the Palmerston heartbeat uh, alive because uh, they're slowly running out of time. It's, uh, it was around 16 minutes into this third quarter, around that. So uh, six goal game. You'd think the Magpies would need to be within th three goals, maybe even four at the absolute worst going into the last quarter. So this is this is a must goal. Cameron Cloak comes in and he kicks the goal. The Magpies are not done with yet. No, they're definitely not. Great goal, Cameron Cloak there. That makes Palmerston's eighth goal of the game, 8-3-51, trailing St. Mary's 12-9-81. So the, the lazy five-goal lead for St. Mary's, which uh, which they had uh, in the first quarter, Dave, before I actually got my headset on. That's how quick it was. So uh, we've been cruising all, all game, St. Mary's, but uh, I think uh, the Magpies pretty much have them right where they want them now because they uh, pretty much bank these... Uh, Premiership points already, so uh, it could be a surprise coming here in the time on third quarter. Wow. There we go. Hunter ran into a bit of trouble, forced a handball back in towards the congestion. Hunter goes in again. So does Jack Williams. He forced it out. It's just uh, St. Mary's edging it forward, still Stapleton up towards Raf Clark, who took a strong mark in front. And this is what St. Mary's do best, Dale. They make you pay after you grind your way back into the match and make you pay with a goal at the other end. And it seems Palmerston take five, five minutes of hard slog to uh, to get a major and they uh, give it right back in five seconds. So uh, that's what good teams do, keep their noses in front. In the blink of an eye, St. Mary's respond at the other end, but only with a behind. And it's the most applause we've heard for a score for St Mary's all day and it was all Palmerston supporters. <laughs> well, so it keeps them afloat, doesn't it? So uh, you'd think uh, Palmerston, they're five goals down, but you'd think that they need to uh, limit limit the uh, output of uh, the St Mary's scoring rather than uh, uh, kicking, uh, kicking the goals themselves. So it's really it all comes from defence now and this is not too good. It was a terrible, terrible kick from Al uh, Aaron Davey. Raf Clark cut it off and he went short to Mark McLean. I think both of those men sporting a pretty similar haircut. Very stylish. The short sides and a little bit of growth on top. It's the old uh, basin cut, isn't it? It is. Uh, and this could be the old seven point play, Dale, as Mark McLean comes in and makes no mistake. So margin back out to 37 points now. St. Mary's kick clear again. This time, Mark McLean kicks the goal. Yeah, no, good steadying goal there, Mark McLean. I think uh, just uh, for a f football purist and the uh, the, the non-supporter uh, here, the mutual mutual fan, uh, we just if we if you didn't say the score, you'd think it'd be about a goal in it. Mm. It's been uh, it's been a cracking game after probably midway through the first quarter, but uh, so just uh, go on about it again. Those that first ten minutes of the game, pretty much. Uh, has given uh, St. Mary's this very handy buffer. 
13-10-88. St. Mary's Palmerston, 8-3-51. As we tick towards the three-quarter time break from the middle of the ground, Lachlan Durke overran that one. Geary kicks St. Mary's up towards centre-half forward. Juggling effort there from Pettigrew, couldn't take it. McFarlane dived on the footy. Handball out, Emery. Did he get one high? Umpire says no, play on. Shannon Rioli tried to burrow through and won himself a free kick, according to the umpire. So Shannon Rioli will have a shot on goal. The man on the mark is Aaron Davey, and he is about 46, 47 metres out. So difficult shot for Shannon Rioli, but uh, very much gettable. He is saying there in the call that uh, Shannon Rioli burrowed for that free. Well, looks like he's been burrowing for about three quarters. <laughs> it's uh, not the cleanest St. Mary's outfit I've seen. Uh, he definitely uh, got in the mud early, and it's really soaked into those yellow shorts. They turn a disturbing colour when they've been in the mud for a long period of time. Shannon Rioli from right on the 50 paintwork. It goes right across the face of goal. Just sneaks in for a behind. So 8 11 89. Oh, sorry, 13 11 89, I should say. Palmerson, 8 3 51. Margin, 38 points. And we've just ticked uh, into time on here in the third quarter. So, uh, Palmerston really need to strike and strike now. They probably need to kick uh, two or three goals late in this third quarter to uh, have any chance in this contest. Jetta! Got up high and took the mark and then played on. And he goes short. And uh, found Brody Bennett. He goes short. Finds Lachlan Durke. Crowd like that one, Dale. Yes, I think uh, Leroy Jetta made uh, Guy Alton look like a big, big goose in front of uh, the grandstand here. And uh, the Palmy Army has uh, let Mr. Orton know all about it. Lachlan here Durke. we go again. Durke, oh, Jetta and Orton. Jetta edged Orton out and then tried to... Come back and onto the loose footy, Alwyn Davey. But there's a free kick before then. It's going to go to Leroy Jetta. Well, Leroy Jetta is uh, making uh, Guy Orton look like his puppet here. He's absolutely burnt him. About three times coming up this grandstand wing. Jetta plays on, and that's a terrible kick. We're waiting for the response from the big, strong St. Mary's crowd, and it's not there. <laughs> As they try to clear defence, Pettigrew over the top. His punch goes only as far as Ryan Smith, and then Stapleton, and uh, then out of play. It's probably very wise that uh, Guy Orton either didn't go up to Mr. Jetta and let him know all about it, because uh, there's a lot of time left in this game, and there's uh, a lot of time left for uh, Guy Orton to uh, be, ma be made a fool again as well. So a uh, <laughs> very wise decision. Maiden from the clearance, good smother Geary. And they all pile in and a ball up on the far side. About uh, 80 metres out from Palmerston's goals. Maybe 20 metres forward of centre wing here on the far side. Shannon Rioli, meantime, goes backwards to Anthony Long. Goes con and concedes more territory to Jack Williams. And then a quarterback style kick over the top. McFarlane couldn't take the mark. Geary front and centre with perfection up towards Ewing. Vallejo tapped it over his head. Leroy Larson can run on, pick up, and kick a goal. That was just way too easy there by St. Mary's. Leroy Larson kicking an easy goal from the goal square, and that's, uh, uh, that's a real killer here in time on in the third quarter. And uh, really takes the wind out of the Magpie sails. They really needed uh, to kick a couple of goals themselves and rather than uh, leak one at the other way. So... Uh, St. Mary's now with a clear match-winning lead. It's, uh, what is it now, 44 points. Yeah, disappointing uh, for Palmerston Magpie supporters for their team to concede a goal so deep into the third term. Larson bangs through his third, though, and uh, about 24 minutes into the quarter, it is St. Mary's 14-11-95, leading Palmerston 8-3-51. Free kick here, contact below the knees. And it's going to go to Aaron Davey. That's one of those stupid new rules that uh, penalise the ball winner. 
Kicks to Alwyn Davey, who was dispossessed. Jack Williams, unlucky not to get a free kick. And, now another and there it is kick. again. <laughs> this time, Lachlan Durke. I think that one was the more conventional sort of legged free kick. Now oh. Durke tries to get around. Williams, who says, thank you very much. You're not coming around me. Geez, Jack Williams has played a good game today. He has. He, he, he got uh, offered some candy there, and he bought it. And then he goes short and finds Shaq McKenzie. Going board towards Larson. He takes a mark, turns em Emery inside out, then kicks up. McFarlane flies. Ewing at the back. He took the mark. Wow. Well, it sort of evaded everyone. And Darren Ewing took the catch, wanted to play on, then realised, hang on a sec, that's a mark. Well, if Batman doesn't get it, Robin, Robin does, doesn't he? Exactly right. And that is... The strength of St. Mary's in a nutshell. In comes Darren Ewing. Quiet day by his lofty standards, but that helps. He adds to his tally and extends his hold. And the Dennis Dunn Trophy for 2014-15. Ewing kicks the goal. Goal number three for him. And St. Mary's extend once again. Yes, now... Way too easy there, St. Mary's. You can tell that they're play, playing on at all costs. They're uh, taking the marks in the one-on-one -on -one contest around the ground and just playing on uh, at will, which uh, Palmerston uh, defenders, especially in that passage of play, didn't didn't really learn too quickly. And, uh, well, everyone went up with McFarlane and everyone forgot about Buff. Well, back in the middle of the ground, there's Bonadio who goes up. And then Orton threw it to himself and then punched it, so... Free kick to the Magpies. Johnson will take the kick in the middle of the ground. Goes wide. Very wide. Aaron Davey the target. But there's the siren for three-quarter time. So at three-quarter time, it's Palmerston. They only managed two goals that quarter. 8-3-51. They trail St. Mary's. They had a big quarter. 15-11-101. The margin is half a century here at three-quarter time on AFLN TV. Final quarter of action coming up very soon. Make sure you stick with us.